Riddle three, worn not by those who are frail, only those trained to blackmail. Look to he whom divided and conquered is praised as Lord and his memory honored. Seek that which his followers wear. You need just one, threadless and bare. Take this item to the region vast, whose overgrowth is unsurpassed. Some agility you might need to see magic flow like a meadow weed. You can take the road of tortured murmurs and find those that fled, the ancient learners. Good luck to everyone. The first person to solve and submit the correct answer wins 1 billion GP. For riddle number two from the last video, Finn submitted this image with the right text, simply writing Gutenoth and Harpoon, and that made it a lot easier to find his answer. Finn accepted the full 1 billion GP and couldn't be happier to have done so. Oh my god. We 10 times his bank, and it looks like he's buying some gear upgrades that he is very thankful for. But because JDW submitted the same correct answer just seconds after Finn, Finn gave JDW 100 million GP. Didn't have to do that. Nice guy. And welcome to the community channel. This clip is titled Nightmare Fuel. The guy was in robes. Ancestral robes. Could have been bank loot. That is pure pain. Hey man, would you love to see get added to the sailing skill? Man, a lot of the concepts I've already heard sound awesome. I, I don't even know, man. I'm really looking forward to the seas becoming just more interactive, man. Not just like, you know, 15 tiles wide that's supposed to represent a vast ocean, which is a great concept and all. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the storms and the weather, you know? And the certain degrees of like realism and life that it's gonna bring to the game. I would like there to be some sort of combat, I guess, in it. Maybe some new items that'll help with combat in the skill only i mean i guess bosses would be cool too but like maybe like a mini plunder type sh you know depends like i wonder if we're gonna make a combat focus to sailing or not where like while you're sailing there's like yeah, maybe stuff you can fight we already have a kraken so we can't really add that there i guess but uh you know like they they could do a lot of stuff with it really Mutz just finished up a duo theater of blood on his hardcore iron man and believe it or not, he has max range, mage, and now max melee gear on a hardcore. Oh my god! Oh! I actually got it! Holy sh! He has quickly climbed up the ranks to become one of the best hardcore Iron Men that has ever lived. Sonny here is doing some pure PKing on this guy schooled with the Web Weaver. So at the very least, he's risking his Amulet of Avarice. The Abyssal Dagger got that revamp to use 25% special attack energy, so he likes to use it against these people with higher defense. Oh, smite. Oh, no, 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 no. Did it happen? Perfect smite. And got the Web Weaver as well as the Avarice. The Bounty Hunter pull results are in, and all but one of the rewards passed and will come to the game. What do you think about BH? Uh, I think it's gonna be sh because there's no no NHing and I'm not gonna do it. Not sh for everyone, just sh for me. I'm hyped, bro. I'm definitely hyped. A lot of video opportunities. This is very exciting news. Ancient equipment passed, which will only be usable in Bounty Hunter itself. This includes tier 78 equipment like Stadius, Vesta, Morgans, and Zerials, and also tier 20 versions of these armors with much lower stats. There will also be the tier 78 weapons, but a tier 20 version of the weapons was not pulled. And then we got old timer weapons like the Dragon Mason Darkpo, which can be imbued for upgrades, once again only usable in Bounty Hunter, and there will be ornament kits you can buy from the store that can be used anywhere in game. And it looks like players want Jagex to create a brand new Bounty Hunter high scores and leave the old high scores table alone. The only thing that didn't pass is the removal of experience in trade for Bounty Hunter points. The pass threshold is 70%, so it missed the mark by 3.4%. Minus XP lamps were pulled in the past many years ago and received a 70.7% .7 approval rate. However, that was back when the pass threshold was 75%, so it never came into the game. For this latest Bounty Hunter question, some people on Twitter took issue with how the question was phrased, because apparently some people didn't understand that you could remove a maximum of 500 experience per account. When will Bounty Hunter be released? Ooh, good question.
question. I would love to just announce the date right now, but I'm not going to. However, I will say that it's very yeah. soon. I, I, May 24th. May 24th. Oh my God. Are you going to play the BH update this month? I cannot wait, man. 24th, right? 19 days left. Very excited. You think it's going to be successful? I mean, I hope so. I, th I think so. I hope so. We'll see. In my mind, I feel like the only way PvP is successful is if this is one of the steps towards success. So if that makes sense. Like, in order to have a, an active wild, they need a bounty hunter. They need a newbie area for people to have fun. Karasis gets hit by this strong PKer. Goes in for the spec. No cigar. Better luck next time, Karasis. Keeps him in and clips. Oh, wait. The guy just touched the 30 line and was probably spam clicking his teleport out. Got the fang in there as well for 113 mil. Beautiful anti PK. Radish never wore his first infernal cape because he lost a bet and he immediately gambled it. Now he has only a few hit points left as he tries to get the one he can actually wear. It's dead. Turn the transmog back on. I can't. I can't. I, I exited out. It's not dead yet. <laughs> Duck down. Mission accomplished. Finally! <laughs> oh, thank the Lord Jesus, man. Jagex have just released the points-based combat achievement system. This means every task now awards a certain amount of combat achievement points. And now the rewards are thresholded based on points, so you can claim rewards even if you've never tried to complete any tier of the combat diary before. They changed CAs to a point system. So like, let's say an easy task is one point, a medium's two, a hard's three, and then you've got point thresholds to be able to hit a certain tier. So if you've done a bunch of high level ones, they give like seven points. That's equivalent to like seven easy tasks. So you're going to complete the lower level ones really easily. I just, uh, <laughs> I just automatically unlocked the hard tier rewards. What? You see, I'd never done the easier medium diary, so I had... <laughs> I never had this. This feels so undeserved. Dirty day one fake master combat achievement ever. Look, I'm elite now, and I was medium when I lo like when I logged off last night. So my reward for being just as mediocre at the game as I was yesterday. There's the Gommel's Hilt one, two, and three. If you guys haven't claimed these already, go and do it now. This is so cool. I was even on my pure Ironman before, and I unlocked the easy combat. <laughs> <laughs> combat achievements on my little 10 HP Iron Man. I mean, if you want Grand Master, you still have to do everything, so I think they're really just giving away free shit, honestly. Yeah, I think my point system is really cool. It'll help, like, uh, special accounts very limited, like, you know, maybe, like, Pures and Zerkers get to, like, higher tiers and, like, rewarding players for doing higher combat tier combat achievements. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Go check them out if you haven't. So you now get a massive discount on abuse from Nightmare Zone with the new combat achievement rewards. Bodhi wants to see if he gets more points from refunding his abuse, and then he can rebuy with the new discounted prices. However, here's the moment of truth, bro. Everything I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm just doing every single one. I, you know, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, bro, I will just get all the points back. I've completed all of my tears. Give me some rewards. Alrighty, hurry up, make it quick, a little faster. No experience rewards. Come on, bro, please. 5.3 million Nightmare Zone points. If I click upgrade and everything's 300,000, I'm very happy. Yes! How many points did I just generate? Two million! Foe has been building up his account to max in the last couple months. Agility is his last skill to go. The final level achieved, and he goes to Max Island to claim the cape. World first. Now that Foe is maxed, he and his group can finally get started on Farmers V2. And we're all looking forward to see it on May 8th. Yes, pay the man. Huggin tries the Ancient God Sword on Zarpus. <gasps> the delayed damage caused Zarpus to fire an attack on Puggin. But fortunately, the Ancient God Sword also has the effect of healing you on that same tick. So the heal saved it. Pretty interesting. Mr. Adder fighting this Titan who is risking 300 mil. The Gmall noodled on five hit points. But a little bit later, he's anti PKing someone else. Beautiful Venge stack. 
Not quite as much as 300 mil, but still a great anti-PK. Jagex have added a storage chest in the Chambers of Zarek lobby, which functions as a bank. At least it doesn't take two accounts to scout now. That's great. <laughs> so now it's easier to scout raids and then swap gear before diving into a raid. What do you think of the quality of life update to Cox? Love it, man. Sick little uh, quality of life in it. Would you have added anything else to the quality of life updates to Cox, or do you think it's good as it is? It really depends on where you draw the line on what is quality of life and what is easy escape. You know what I mean? The new group hardcore Iron Man team, including Alfie, Odablock, Sanchovies, Greg, and Yasuo, has begun. And pointing fun at the drama recently, they have an on brand team name. What's the name of your team? We are canceled. All right, uh, no one started Sorry. Priest and Pale yet, right? No. no. All right, I'm gonna get everyone's essence. No way you're that nice. Oh, guy. Wow. Oh, guy. Because I'm ticking it, so it gets two at a time. He said, because I'm ticking it as well, like he put his glasses up and everything. Wow. Damn, damn you, Alfie. Odablock frequently throws around the word chanced, but can he complete the tourist trap quest without getting chanced? I just f***ed up so bad. And I just almost died, well up. The max hit is five over four hits, so luckily he trained up his hit points. Dino got matched up with a PvP arena fight, but he wants to skip that for now. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. It nearly got me killed, but we're chilling. Jinx. I'm honestly... But now a little bit later, he's out of supplies and to spare his dignity, he needs to get this escape. Be kind. Be kind. Woo, close one. There is no way Jake tried to age yes me, man. I thought you meant, you know, what's that about? Martin's baiting his opponent. And the Karasi spec didn't hit enough, but the guy casted an entangle on his vengeance, and he deleted himself. A 222 million GP mistake. Cowblood is crushing his assailant to dust right now with some insane hits. That was pretty much a chance, I'm pretty sure. Please just keep hitting. Just kill him. No, I should have swapped. Shit. Oh my god! Bro, no way! Yes! My first void maker! Skill specs goes against Muspaba. Oh my god! The floor is like. The floor is bad! I'm in danger, bro! I need to pull out 55. What happens now? Dying on my hot cry, man. <laughs> Reeve UK has done 543 Corrupted Gauntlets on his Hardcore Iron Man. An extremely impressive feat. Now he's back in. The floor is lava and dangerous tornadoes are out and coming after him. No way! It looks like he stood still for just a moment too long. All four tornadoes converged on him at once and he lost the hardcore status. Before he died, he had just accomplished 2000 skill total, 92 Slayer, 720 Bandos kills, and of course over 500 Corrupted Gauntlets, which is extremely impressive on a hardcore. Very much well done for what you accomplished, Reeve, and rest in peace to this great account. If you need to be reminded, this is the proper way to eat a kiwi. What are you scared of a little hair in your mouth? Grow up. Skill Specs is ecstatic to have a Carol DH fight. Yo, Gamma, good to see you, bro. Wait, is that a Carol DH approaching me, bro? I don't believe my eyes. Is this the guy who just rushed me a minute ago with the D claws, bro? Dying on my hot cry, man. Completed. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, well. He <laughs> eat a bag of fing cocksy little f. Look forward to riddle number four in the next video. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you to our Iron, Rune, and Grandmaster tier members, and we'll see you then.